So our first example, we're focusing in on sketching the graph of, of a quadratic equation. Uh, and we're going to do that by finding the x and the y intercepts and also the turning point. Firstly, we access the app by going to the apps key just below the x on your calculator. Um, and then polysymbol 2 is number 9, so it stands for polynomial and simultaneous. So if we head to that number 9, um, and then we're looking uh, to first find the x-intercepts of that equation. Uh, and the x-intercepts are also known as the roots. So to find your x-intercept, you're going to use the root finder. Um, so that's our first option in that menu there. Um, and from here, uh, we've got a whole lot of different settings that we can put in. Now, for most of the part, um, you won't have to worry too much about these, except for this order one. And that tells you what's the highest power on the equation that you're looking for. So we had a quadratic equation. So the highest power was the x squared. So our order of our polynomial is 2. Um, and everything else you can probably mostly leave off for the moment, although if you do look at some uh, different types of equations later on um, in your schooling, you might want to come back and have a look at some of those. Um, I just want to quickly uh, change the screen view of my calculator. So just give me one second. I'm just going to put my calculator back so that the screen um, is in the calculator. Um, and you can see here that a lot of the time when you're using this app, you're using your graphing buttons to control what you're doing. So um, if I want to go my next screen here, so I've got my order two selected, I'm going to go next. I'm going to press the graph button and that's going to move me on to the next stage of using the app. Uh, so just remember those graphing buttons control a lot of what we're doing within the app. Okay, so back on my large display, I can now edit my coefficients of the equation to reflect the polynomial that I was solving for. So my first one was 1x squared, so I can leave that as is and just use the navigation keys to tab along to uh, get to the next place. So the next one was it was minus 5x, so I'm going to change that to a uh, subtraction sign there. Uh, 5, press enter. Uh, the plus can stay because uh, it was plus 6 on the end, and I'm just going to change that constant to a 6. All right, so there's my equation. And the next thing I'm going to do is solve that. So again, press graph to solve that equation. Uh, and there are my two solutions, two and three. Uh, from here, I'm going to do a couple of little things that we haven't really looked at so far, but we are going to focus on a lot through throughout the rest of the course. And I'm going to store some of those uh, things into some lists. And I'm also going to store the polynomials. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to store my whole equation uh, into y1. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I also want to store those two values into a list. And I'm going to store those into list one. Okay, now I'm going to quit out of the app and we're going to do a couple of calculations using those two roots as well. So um, we're going to quit by going, uh, there's a couple of different ways you can quit, but I like to just use second quit because I know it pretty much works on everything. Um, and then here you can see number six there is quit app. Um, that takes me back to my main screen. Uh, so from here, I needed to find the y-intercept and the turning point of that equation. So again, I'm going to do a couple of little calculations here. First thing I'm going to do is find the y-intercept. So I know I put my equation into my y equals. So I'm going to go alpha f4, uh, and that brings up my y1 into my main screen. And I'm going to sub 0 into that equation by just taking y1 of 0, and I can see that I get a y-intercept at 6. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take the average of the two numbers that I put into that list one as well. So if I go second list, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go across to the maths menu where it has a whole lot of operations here, I want to take the average, so the mean, that's number three. So I'm going to take the mean of my second number one, gives me my list one. Um, so it's going to take the average of those two numbers, and that gives me 2.5, which is the x-coordinate of my turning point. From there, the other thing I can do as well is I can take my y1 again, and now sub in 2.5, and have the y-coordinate of my turning point at negative 0.25. Okay, so you can see here, this is kind of what my graph would look like, so y-intercept at 6, x-intercepts at 2 and 3, and the turning point at 2.5, negative 0.25, around about there. My next example is looking at higher power. So we're looking at now a quartic function, so x to the power of 4 being the highest power. Okay, so back into my app again, again now down to number 9. Uh, we're still using the root finder because we're solving that equation. 
Um, and now we want the order to be increased. So we're going to increase that to a fourth. Uh, and now I'm going to press next uh, again the graph button again and I can input those coefficients again so you'll notice that they're kind of written in more of a list view rather than equation here just so you can see them a bit more easily on the screen so my first coefficient was 1 for uh, x to the power of 4 we then had a negative 1 for x squared and a negative 6 for the constant there was no cubed or x terms so they just remain as 0 um, again we can solve that equation by pressing the graph button and there are my solutions there. So now moving on to the simultaneous equation component, we've got two uh, unknown values um, and their sum is 89 and their difference is 33. So again, still using that polysimal to app, but now we're looking at the second option there, which is the simultaneous equation solver, not the root finder. So I'm gonna enter into that component. Um, and my equations here, I've, I, go, I then have to kind of set this up. So I've got two equations and two unknowns. So that's my X and my Y. <clears throat> Once I've set that up, I'm going to again hit the graph button for next. Uh, and I can fill in my coefficients of the equation. So it was 1X plus 1Y was equal to 89. Uh, and 1X minus 1Y was equal to 33. So again, I can press solve using that graph button and there's my solution. So X is 61 and Y is 28. Looking at our last example, we now have three equations and three unknowns. So I've just inputted all of those coefficients already and set up the equations because it is a bit time consuming. Um, so I've put all of that in and now again, I'm going to hit graph just to solve that. And there's my solution, so 4, negative 2, and 3. Uh, but my question wanted to know, what is x plus y plus z? And we can see there, by looking at those values, that it would be 5. So 4 plus 3, giving you 7, minus 2. Alrighty, there you go. Well, that's uh, the end of today's lesson, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks very much.